All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD 1000 web, web Development Technologies course, I'm creating a series of video presentations that are based on the Mozilla Developer Network Learn Web Development series. I am towards the end, and I'm in the server-side programming section. And I'm, I'm in the routes I'm in going through the tutorial and I'm in part four of the tutorial. So routes needed for our local library project. The URLs that we're ultimately going to need for our pages are listed below. All right. So as it says where it's got objects, that is going to hold the appropriate model. All right, objects is the plural and ID is given to each one by default so don't don't worry about this there is an explanation in here and again it'll hopefully start to make a little bit more sense once we go on now i'm still going to have a problem in that my data isn't in there i'm going to be able to run this stuff but it's not going to show me anything just because of the fact i have not yet loaded in any data so i'm going to have to see if i can do something about that the first home page and list pages don't encode any additional information while the results return will depend on the model type and content in the database, the queries will run to get information will always be the same. By contrast, the other URLs are used to act on a specific document or model instance. These encode the identity of the item in the URL, shown as ID above. So for instance, if we wanted to go in and get a particular book to either or to add a particular book, or if we wanted to go in and update a particular book, etc. Why do you always have to do this? I don't understand you. Such a derelict. Always, if you're not screwing with me, you're not happy. Just stay right where you are. There, now go, go, go on. Just go out, please, just go, go. Go on, get out of here, out, out, out. All right, as mentioned here, then Express allows you to construct your URLs any way you'd like. Whichever approach you use, the URL should be kept clean, logical, and readable. Okay, all right. Next, we create our route handler callback functions and route code for all of the above URLs. Before we define the routes, we'll first create all dummy skeleton callback functions that will be invoked. These will be stored in a separate controller module for books, book instances, genres, and authors. Start by creating a folder in our, for our controllers in our root project called controllers, and then create separate controllers and modules for each one. Okay? All right, very similar to what we did before when we were working on the different models. So instead, now we want to create a folder called controllers. New folder controllers, and let's cd do controllers, and let's add them using just the touch command that we've talked about previously. So touch author controller dot js touch book controller.js touch book instance controller.js and touch genre controller.js and here they are let's take a quick look 
author controller, book controller, book instance controller, and genre controller. I think everything looks good the way that it is. So then we are to open that folder and open up each one of these files because we're about to add code to them. So open the author controller and type in the following code. The module first requires that the model that we'll be will later be using to access our data. All right, it then exports functions for each of the URLs we wish to handle, and that's what's going on in here. Those are the create, the update, and delete. And as it says, the create, update, and delete operations use forms and hence also have additional methods for handling post requests. We'll discuss those methods later on. All of the functions have the standard form of an express middleware functions with arguments for the request and the response. We could also include the next to be called if the method is not complete, but in all these cases it does, so we've omitted it. All right. The methods return a string indicating the associated page has not yet been created. If a controller function is expected to receive parameters, these are output in the message string. All right, then we open up the book instance controller and we're doing almost the same thing, but again, for the book. So again, this was the book instance controller. Next, we are to open up the genre controller and copy in, again, almost the same code. And finally, we are to open up the book controller and copy in the code. As it says, it follows the same pattern as the other controller models, but additionally, it has an index function for displaying the site welcome page. Next, we create the routes for the URLs needed by our website, which will call the controller functions we defined previously. The skeleton already has a slash routes folder. Create another route file inside of there called catalog.js. All right, we've already got this routes, so let's not even do that. Let's bring this up. All right, so we've got an index and a users. And we want a new file. This is just like if I did the touch, but so this is catalog, catalog.js. Yes, I do want to change the extension. So there that is. Open it and copy in the code that is shown here. You can see that's a lot of routes we're setting up there. The module requires express and then uses it to create a router object. The routes are all set up on the router, which is then exported. The routes are defined using either a .get, get or a .post methods on the router object. All the paths are defined using strings. Routes that act on some resource use path parameters to get the object URL. The handler functions are all imported from the controller modules created previously. We have set up all of our routes, but we still have to get the route to the original page. Let's instead direct this to the new index page that we created inside of the path catalog. So open up our routes index file and replace the existing route with the one shown below.
This is our first use of the redirect response method. This redirects to the specified page by default sending HTTP request status code 302 found. You can change the status code if needed and supply either an absolute or a relative path, again, as desired. All right, the last step is to add the routes to the middleware chain. We do this in app.js. Open app.js and require the catalog route below the other routes. Add third line as shown below. So let's open up our app.js file. All right, so right now we've got these two lines, our index router and our user's router, as shown there. And we want to add this new line, our catalog router. Now it puts the, the um, comment over here which is kind of silly because you can't even read it, so I'm just going to move it up there. Okay? You weren't asked to do that. I just made, it made a little more sense to me. Next, add the catalog route to the middleware stack below the other routes. So add this underneath the other ones. I'll do the same kind of thing in there in our app.use. We have added our catalog module at a path catalog. This is prepended to all paths. So for example, to access a list of books, the URL will be slash catalog slash books. That's it. So it says to test the routes, first start the website use your, using your normal approach. All right. And I think we were using... If you'd previously set up NodeMon, you can use this one. I think the set wasn't working for us, so I think that'll work. We'll find out. All right. Again, we're getting that error right now, and it's an Atlas error. Well, and that isn't good. I think that means I'm not going to be able to go any further in here until I get that fixed. But we have, we cannot go in and check these because we're not going to, we're not, it's not going to give us a URL. I'll have to do that, but I'll have to first figure out why we're getting the errors. So we have now created all the routes for our site and dummy controller functions that we can populate with full implementation later. Along the way, we learned about express routes and some approaches for structuring routes and controllers. In the next one, we will hopefully go in and be able to start displaying our data. And I'll be back with that after I figure out what the errors, the other errors are, hopefully shortly.